Uh, good afternoon and uh, welcome Khalid Koya the, uh, from the Telecom Development Authority of Afghanistan. Thank you. And uh, former Lieutenant General Sudeesh Sharma. I, I hope you guys are having a good time at the Arab Meeting. I'm loving it. It's always good fun to be in Asal Kaima for Asal's Meet and Karim is first time but he seems to be enjoying it too. No, no, it's an excellent meeting, great people to meet from different parts of the Arab world. Absolutely. And, and uh, this is, uh, so you, you, this is your first? First visit. And I'm sure it's not going to be the last. It's going to be as, much as more. As we say, this part of the world, inshallah. Fair enough, inshallah. Uh, very quick, I thought this was a little subject around which both of you gentlemen have a lot to say. Uh, you know, we talked about growth, we talked about various geopolitical reasons and regions and how we can go forward. The point is, my question is, how do you leverage local uh, human capital as a catalyst for growth? Yes. And, and I think if I could just pick on your brains and some of your sure. thoughts on that process, mm. please. Sure. Um, I think uh, one of the key things is that wherever you're looking at growth, you need human capital. And it's the most important ingredient in the mix. You can find money, you can find opportunities, but to execute you need the human capital. Uh, in a country like Afghanistan, when I went 10 years ago, I remember my chief technical officer pulling his hair out. He was a tall French guy, and he had little hair anyway, So, uh, and he came to me and said, Kareem, we're changing the way we're choosing our engineers. And I said, why is that, Eric? And he said, if they can speak English and open up a computer, we're going to call them engineers. And true to form, 10 years later, those 16 Afghans that we chose today run the whole of our network, which is 6.5 million customers in 34 provinces, 365 days a year. <coughs> How do we do that? You have to bring the catalyst. You have to bring them know-how or bring, take them to the know-how. So we spend an average of $1,500 per person, even on the khala, a cleaner, to teach her English or to allow her to uh, extend her herself so that if in her capacity to get better. What we've also done is we've brought world-class people to Afghanistan. It may sound corny, how do you get people to come to Afghanistan? We've created an intern program mm -hmm. at some of the top universities in the United States, Harvard, Stanford, Cornell, and you brought people from So there. what we do is we go to the MBA classes and they teach a case study on Russia, the company okay. run. And through that case study, we show them how through social corporate responsibility and through uh, really um, bringing them to Afghanistan and giving them, 23-year-olds, a real p &L project that they can then teach a colleague of theirs who happens to be Afghan and show them practically those skills so that <coughs> they can take that and then run with it. And by doing that and creating real, real transfer of knowledge, we have seen some young Afghans who are 24 years old really blossom. And today we are about to launch telephone companies in Africa. And we're actually going to take our Afghan staff and transpose them into Africa wow. to actually wow. run those networks. So we've been very successful. We have a 400 call seat, seat um, call center. center. And we are now we could rival India because we answer calls in five different languages. Wow. Well, that's, so, that's so I hope that quick example is yeah, giving you an idea no, of what we've I done. think, uh, Karim, that's a very compelling yes. story. Uh, actually, to have done this in Afghanistan and then take people from there to another yes. part of the world is a very, very and compelling story. Fab and then just to benchmark globally, we apply for awards or we've been nominated for awards. So we won the best call center of the year award amongst the GSMA from the GSMA Association, which is the, the, the association for telephone companies. Mm -hmm. We've just won corporate philanthropy awards from uh, Ethical Corporation. Uh, we've just been ISO, the first company in Afghanistan to be ISO certified by technology department. So it's not like we compete only in an Afghan context. We do this on a global benchmark and a global context. But the interesting thing which, which I picked up from you was that I've got this. Not only does they talked about leveraging human talent, but leveraging it locally. And I mean, one can always get talent like lots of talent is coming from India to the lots of countries there. But that doesn't really qualify for growth at point of time. You know, you run out of that. Unless you're able to pick up the local talent and then build the skills like they have done, you're really not doing the real growth story. So that is the interesting part of it. Employ locally, regardless of it, have the confidence in them, exactly. build on them, whatever it is, and then leverage their strengths. Is that right? So let me give an example. We're in 33 countries as the Al Khan Fund for Economic Development. If you take the 33 countries, we have 90 project companies. We employ 30,000 people. Out of the 30,000 people, there are only 100 expats. Wow. Oh. Just to give that, you that's a, so, you know, truly, I mean, you know,